Hello, welcome to part 3. In this part, we will continue to learn elements. Let's start with div element. Div is a simply container for elements. You can create cards, layouts, and even portraits. To understand it better, I will create super simple cards. First, open and close your div tags. Inside it, create h2 tag, which is header tag post title on it after create p tag and inside it place a dummy text now test it on browser as you can see there is our title and there is our paragraph but we can do this without div and we can see the div to see the i will add style on it in any html element you can add style attribute with style attribute, you can add CSS on it. I would like to add border, one pixel solid red. You don't need to learn CSS right now. We will learn it in future episodes. Fresh and there is our red border. That means there is our div. Now move on to next element. Next element is span. With span, we can create texts Edit style a part of a text. Span tag inside the P tag. Uh, and I would like to highlight this sentence. Now, if you go to browser, you see there is no difference. There is nothing highlighted. To highlight it, I'm gonna give span a style, same as there but I'm not gonna give it border, I will give it color and it will be red. Go to browser, yep, there's our red text. With span, you can do it easily. Next, move to creating a list. To create lists, we will use URL and ally tags. It's pretty simple. First, open and close URL tags. URL will work as a container for a light text. Inside URL, create our ally tags. A light tags will work as an item of the list. So when you create a new ally, you're creating a new item for the list. I'm gonna uh, name it as item and add copies. Okay, we go to browser, fresh, there is our list. Okay, we learned a lot of elements. But before the end, I would like to show you one more element. It is anchor tag. With anchor, we can link to other pages, websites or files. To use it, create an a tag and close it. Inside, you can add text to tell people what it is doing. I will redirect to google.com. Add href attributes that's where we are redirect the user and add your URL inside it. Refresh the page. There is our anchor tag with text on it. And if you click on that, that's redirect us to google.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.